The Aston Martin Rapide has been on sale since 2010 and it's fair to say that the four-door sports car hasn't quite been the success that the company had hoped for. The British manufacturer had originally hoped to build more than 2,000 examples of the Rapide each year. But with sales of just more than 1,200 units annually by 2012, the company has now relocated production of its slinky sedan from its dedicated production facility in Austria to Aston Martin's home in Gaydon. And while the fundamentals of the Rapide haven't changed significantly during that time, it's hoped the added equipment and extra performance of this new Rapide S model will help renew interest in the ageing model. The Rapide name draws its inspiration from the squared-off Lagonda Rapide sedan of the late 1970s. Its chassis is an extension of the same one that underpins the DB9, while the long-serving 6-litre V12 engine gets a mild makeover, adding slightly more power and torque. The Rapide S also scores a new 8-speed automatic transmission and a revised final drive ratio, dropping its 0-100km an hour time by almost half a second and increasing top speed to in excess of 320km an hour. Will the changes made to the Rapide help it to respond and perform the way that it really should? The stiffer rear bushes in the back and the retuned steering certainly help it turn in, while the 8-speed transmission is just a charmer now. It's so much better than the old 6-speed unit. We love the Vanquish-inspired grille, the lightweight alloy wheels and the new centre stack interface. The headlining and upholstery material is stunning, as is the quality of the quantum silver paint. But the faulty driver's power window, ill-fitting passenger side carpet, worn door seal and inactive cruise control in our 1500km old test model were somewhat disappointing. On the plus side, there are more options to choose from than ever before, and the Bang & Olufsen Biosound 16-speaker audio system is a definite highlight. Aston Martin allows customization of just about every facet of the Rapide S, even matching leather and paint colors to just about any sample you care to provide. Stick to the script, and the Rapide S will set you back a cool $382,000. This really is a car that belies its weight quite a bit. It certainly doesn't feel as big and as heavy as the figures would let on. And the bigger brakes have really helped it pull up quick. Well, if there's one thing we've certainly come to love from the Aston Martin, it's that V12 soundtrack. I mean, it really just doesn't get any better than this. You can have all the turbos and blow off valves you want. For me, this is it. Of course, the Aston Martin Rapide isn't perfect. It might look better than the Porsche Panamera, but its rear seat is compromised by a tight door opening and cosy head and legroom dimensions. It also doesn't offer many of the driver safety technologies offered elsewhere. Items like radar cruise control, blind spot monitoring and keyless entry are obvious omissions considering the price. But as a hard charging Grand Touro with the soul of a sports car and the character to match, the Rapide S does push all the right buttons. In spite of its weight, it's a keen handler and the performance on offer is scintillating to say the least. Whether or not it's worth the asking price, however, is entirely up to you.